Hi, uh, good evening. Uh, this is the fourth video of the uh, <clears throat> uh, the brief that we're going to give uh, on the fun, uh, on the our two days uh, training on the with the topic of financial modeling uh, plus business valuation using Excel from the corporate finance perspective. So we have financial modeling. Plus the business valuation using Excel. From the corporate finance perspective. Okay, so in this uh, video, I'm going to touch on the financial modeling. Of course, the uh, Mostly people relate this uh, financial modeling class as an uh, Excel class. Yes, we're going to touch uh, 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 lots of uh, uh, Excel function. Probably it's about uh, 20 Excel function like uh, uh, sum if and then uh, fail lookup, edge lookup, and of course we're going to uh, show uh, a better Excel function called is a uh, index or match. This is the one that you can use. In replacement of the uh, uh, fair lookup and uh, edge lookup and then also we're going to put like uh, offset uh, of course this is one of the volatile uh, this is what I call volatile function usually we really try to avoid uh, just use one uh, offset function in one spreadsheet and also of course you're going to learn about the uh, PPMT IPMT rate and then you're going also to learn about the and and or and the most uh, uh, significant Excel function that you really need to understand is uh, of course is a uh, if uh, and then the nested if uh, we're going to definitely touch on that and then we're going to also touch a lot of on the output uh, we're going to show you how to do the chart on the tornado chart, spider chart, rudder chart, a scroll bar and also the spinner box and also we go definitely and another things we're going to touch on the how to do the sensitivity analysis and then also on the scenario analysis uh, this is one of the what we call a what if scenario and then uh, we're going to uh, of course uh, the skeleton uh, the, the we're going to use the financial statement as our main uh, main playing board so our main playing board is the financial statement We're going to guide you uh, to prepare how to build a forecast of the financial statement. For example, during the horizon period could be 5 to 10 years. And we're going to touch on the sales forecast. As you know, that the for sales forecast could be limited or constrained by the demand. So it could be constrained by demand. Would be the uh, asset base and also uh, the capacity. Okay, so this is all things that you need to, to know when you put into your assumption. Uh, the, the, the most uh, significant part of your financial modeling definitely is an uh, assumption uh, uh, spreadsheet. This is the whole things that you put uh, based on your understanding about the business, about the historical data. And also, uh, you also have to look into the research report that prepared by uh, many uh, securities company that uh, really follow the, the company. If that's a listed company, if that's a private company, probably all you can do just look at the historical and look what's going on in the industry. Because in the long term, all the, uh, the items in the balance sheet, in the financial statement, uh, income statement and cash flow is driven by what happens in the industry and also in the economy. Okay, and also we're going to touch on the, um, so it's a financial statement, yes. Uh, this is what uh, we call it a main a playing board. So this is your main playing board. I hope. You, you don't find it a bit boring because many training class on the financial uh, financial modeling always talks about the financial uh, statement but 
I do uh, believe that you're going to understand that why we need to really understand the financial statement because <coughs> uh, there's a three things uh, decision as I said in the first video that uh, this is a corporate financial perspective all the decision in the business that have the impact or implication or consequences to the finances of the company is the uh, corporate finance and that's and financial model definitely part of that corporate finance so there's a three things decision that is very familiar is a financing decision or oh, I start with the operating decision first okay and then you have a financing decision and then last but not least is your investing decision so all these have an implication to the cash flow okay so I cannot uh, uh, stress more how the importance to understand the whole things of this and relate that back to to the all items in your financial statement so you need to all items okay this is not just about understand or how to read the financial statement but more important what how to really understand the risk driver and the failure driver behind your financial statement okay and uh, another thing that I want to touch is the you have a financing, operating, and then also your investing, and it's that impact to your cash flow. Uh, and then, yes, I also want to show uh, in the training that uh, there's a traditional uh, uh, balance sheet, but there's another, what I call the more uh, corporate finance balance sheet. So, this is two things that probably once you come to our class you're going to understand more that it is very important to understand the balance sheet from the corporate finance perspective okay and um, if you have any question about this training um, this is not just we guide you through this two days training and leave it uh, leave it you to it but we do hope that uh, after the class of training you can go back to your real uh, business you sit down in the real business and then you try to prepare your own financial modeling and then we really hope that after you because if you cannot apply it all things that we a lot of things definitely there's still a lot of things that we cannot cover within two days but we do hope that you don't miss the storyline you can go back to your uh, real company you do your own financial modeling and after that you can go back to us and you share your experience you can raise question and this is how you study the financial modeling I don't believe if there's a master class within two days you can become a master uh, financial modeler there, there's no such thing in this world so all you can do put more persistent put more focus on your financial modeling uh, new learning and a process and then you come back to us you send email and we try or we manage to uh, reply uh, email what uh, as soon as possible and then hopefully you become a better financial modeler not just that we do hope that you can contribute more to your companies through understanding about the financial modeling Okay, uh, uh, the one thing that I want to touch is uh, we also touch a bit about the IRR and uh, uh, net present value because there's a very two uh, 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 conventional topic that usually people will ask during the class. So we want to, to touch that slightly. Uh, we do hope that you're going to enjoy the class and uh, see you in the class. Thank you. Bye bye.